Hello everyone, welcome to this video on understanding run charts. Here we will see what is a run chart, counting the number of runs and run chart rules. Run chart displays data over time, thus helping us to analyze a process visually. We can assess the stability of a process and discover data patterns too. Run chart helps us to detect special cause variation, that is variation due to external reasons. Let's look at the elements of a run chart. We have a center line, which is the median. X-axis displays the time and Y-axis shows the measurement. When we say run chart, what exactly is a run? Run technically means one or more consecutive data points on the same side of the median. On the adjacent chart, let's look at a possible run. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. This is one run. Because these data points are consecutive and are on the same side of the median, we can count the number of runs in two ways. Either draw a circle around each run and then count the circles, or count the number of times the sequence of data points crosses the median. Let's quickly look at a sample run chart to see how many runs are there. So if you follow the first method and start circling the runs, here we are. We have 14 runs. Now let's look at the run chart rules. This is of utmost importance because these rules let you make meaningful inferences from the available data. For these rules to be valid, and give concrete results, at least 15 or more data points are mandatory. There are four patterns of non-randomness displayed by run charts. First one is mixtures. These are characterized by absence of points near the center. Often indicate combined data from two populations or two processes operating at different levels. If p-value P as in Peter, if p-value for mixtures is less than 0.05, we might have mixtures in our data. We will talk about p-value in detail in our future videos. For now, please remember that there is something called as the p-value or the probability value. Clusters. Group of points in one area of the chart may indicate variation due to special causes like measurement problems or sampling from a group of defective parts. A p-value of less than 0.05 may indicate clusters in our data. Oscillations. These occur when the data fluctuates up and down. It means that the process is not steady. P-value of less than 0.05 indicates a possibility of oscillation in our data. Trends. Means a sustained drift in the data, either up or down. These are early warning signals that a process might soon go out of control. Might be due to rotation of operators or worn out tools. If p-value for trends is less than 0.05, we may have a trend in our data. Now let's look at four major rules for making inferences on a run chart. Rule 1 is shift, where six or more consecutive points either all above or all below the median. Rule number two, a trend, where we see five or more consecutive points all going up or all going down. Rule number three is runs, too few or too many runs or crossings of the median line. And rule number four is an astronomical point, which is obviously a different value a value which is very far from us. So this was about run charts that I wanted to share with you. Hope this is useful information for you. Thank you very much for your time today. Do share your feedback and comments or connect with me on LinkedIn. Please do subscribe to stay updated on future videos. Bye bye.